Hey everybody, Chris here from It's Mead Made, and today, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I've got some problems. I have a broken piece of filament inside my AMS for my bamboo printer. So I thought this is a perfect opportunity to show you exactly how to remove those broken pieces of filament that can sometimes get clogged in your AMS. <laughs> So this whole thing started because I had some bad filament in my AMS. I mean, this stuff was just breaking and like snapping on me like that. And it it was just a bad idea to put it in there. I thought it might be okay, but it wasn't. So we actually have a small piece of black filament stuck in the AMS right now. So let's go ahead, jump over to my printer, and I will show you exactly how to remove this broken piece of filament out of the AMS. So one thing I wanted to mention is Black Friday and Cyber Monday are coming. And we are close. And these days are the best days to be buying 3D printers, filament resins, and everything else in between. And I am actually compiling a list of all of the best deals that I have found. And I'm going to be sending that out to all of the people on my newsletter. So if you want to get that email this week, I'll put a link down below for you to sign up to my newsletter. And one of the big ones already is Bamboo is having a crazy Black Friday sale. And I will go ahead and put a link below in the description so you can see what those are right now. So the first thing to notice when you get a clog or a jam inside your AMS, you will see the little white indicator lights turn red. And you can see here on the third bay, it is actually red. So that means that I have got a broken piece of filament in my AMS. The other thing to note is I actually looked at all of my Bowden tubes that were going out from the AMS and into the hot end of my 3D printer, and they were completely free, which leads me to believe that there is a clog inside the AMS. So the first thing we need to do is remove the AMS from the 3D printer. First, unplug the cable in the back. Then you wanna lift the lid of the AMS, and in the very back, middle where the Bowden tube is connected, there is a little pad that you want to place both fingers on on each side and push down. And that is going to release the coupling for the Bowden tube. And then all you have to do is pull the Bowden tube out from the back. Once you have it detached from the printer, you can set it aside to where you can work on it easily, open it up, and in the very back you're going to see two holes. And that is where you're going to take a small Allen key and unscrew the two screws holding in the internal unit. Then all you have to do is lift from the back of the AMS. Now you're going to have to push down on the little pad that you push down to release the Bowden tube to be able to make it free. Now the big thing here is when you actually pull this out, don't actually pull the whole thing out. You want to just actually lift it up on its side, then turn the AMS. There you'll see that there are two small connection wires in the back of the unit. Then all you have to do is carefully disconnect those two wires. Once you've disconnected the wires, the AMS is free to take out of the housing. And this right here is the actual AMS. So all you have to do is set aside the actual case for the AMS. Now, just remember that you still have two small screws in those holes, so gently just turn it upside down to be able to get those two screws out of there, because you do not want to lose those things. So set them aside in a safe place for when you have to reassemble it. Now, all we're going to do is locate the Bowden tube that has the clog, and push down on the coupling, and then pull back the Bowden tube. And there you will see is the clogged filament. And all you have to do is just pull the filament out, and now it is unclogged. Now the job is done, all you have to do is repeat everything in the opposite order. So hold down on the coupling, then push the Bowden tube back in all the way to make sure it's secure. And I also like to just double check all of the Bowden tubes to make sure they're all secure. Now we're ready to put the AMS back in the housing. So we're just going to set it on the end first. So placing it directly down into the AMS and sliding it towards the front. But remember, we still have to attach those wires. So while you're holding the AMS in the upright position, you want to reconnect each one of the wires that you disconnected previously. And they should go in just fine. Just make sure you align them properly before pushing down. Once you have those connected, carefully slide the AMS back into position. 
and it should set very firmly in place. After that, you just want to drop the screws back in the holes and re-tighten them. And the key here is do not over-tighten them. You just want them snug. There's no reason to over-torque these screws because you can possibly crack the plastic housing. And that's it. Now it's ready to move back to the printer. Now the last few steps is you attach the Bowden tube back into the hole and push down until it's secure. Then take the cable and reattach it into the AMS. Now you're ready to put your filament back into the AMS. And as long as it pulls it in and retracts it, you have completed the job and you officially have an unclogged AMS. All right, real quick, I just have to say thank you. Thank you to all of these amazing people for supporting me on Patreon this month. And if you want to be like these people, you will get exclusive access to my behind the scenes content, what I'm working on, as well as access to my Discord servers where we talk about everything. This community is growing every day and it is so amazing because we're talking about 3D printing, painting, and any kind of slicing softwares and failures. I mean, it's just a great group. So if you're interested, I'll go ahead and put a link below. Other than that, let's get back to this video. Now, I just want to mention one thing, that filament can go bad because it just depends on how you stored your filament, how old the filament is, and honestly, I have gotten some bad spools from the manufacturer right when I open it. It, it just happens. So just be cautious of that. If you've got some really old spools and you want to throw them in your AMS, you might be doing this. Or you already did and now you know how to fix it. I just wanted to kind of throw that out there because just because you have this filament doesn't mean it's going to last forever. So that's why it's important to store your filaments in a very cool and dry place, like in a dry box or something like that. And that's it. So I just wish you a great day and I will see you over here in this next video.